Right, so here we are then, London Euston. Um, I've come down to see Jamie Salt today for this uh, new form of soccer cards and chill. Now we can get out of, out and about again here at uh, here in Britain. We can travel again. I thought I'd come down and see Jamie. So I'm going to meet him at the Emirates and uh, we're going to open packs of these Arsenal fan selection cards from 97 to 98. Obviously, Jamie's a big Arsenal fan, so it makes sense, really. Um, and in a second, I'm going to go back into the station, put my mask on, obviously, and I'm going to try and navigate and find the underground and then find my way over to the Emirates. I'm there, as you can tell by the accent, you know, I'm not native to London. Um, however, I did live down here for a bit, so I should know my way a little bit better than I do, but I've kind of forgotten everything. So anyway, I'm going to go and, and seek out the right place, go over to the Emirates and uh, catch up with Jamie. We're going to have a conversation about the hobby. We're going to open these cards and uh, yeah, it'll be lots of fun. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Right, so I've just come out of Holloway Station then and um, Jamie's just messaged me to say that he is sitting outside of uh, the Emirates right now waiting for us. So I'm going to have to try and cross the road whilst talking to you. What I'm really excited to talk to Jamie about today, you know, not just opening the, the old packs of retro Futera fan selection cards, but like I'm really intrigued to talk to him about where he thinks the hobby's going from here. Um, that's always a question I like to ask all the guys that I speak to on the podcast, you know, it's where do you think this all goes? Because the markets from a secondary perspective, you know, if you're someone who likes to buy sports cards, invest in sports cards, soccer cards specifically, you know, like the market's gone up recently. So does he think that will persist? And then also, you know, from, from our perspective as a manufacturer, what's he think that we should do to ensure that, you know, we protect the hobby, um, but also, you know, we, we provide... Uh, a product that people want and we provide soccer cars that people want so um, no, I, I like to think we've got a pretty good grasp of that here at Butera and um, and uh, here he is look at this this is good timing so as I was talking to you then he just appeared like magic here he is hello mate what were we fist pumping or what yeah how are you Jamie all right just come out of the station I had to avoid not getting um run over on the way out uh, Holloway Roads yeah, yeah yeah where are we going then should we walk over yeah, that way there. right okay so as you can see look the Emirates is just behind there so I'll knock the camera off now and talk to Jamie properly and then we'll uh, we'll pick up with you in a second right okay so <laughs> we've just what's London just happened Google. so the Google Street Maps car with a camera on the top has just come round this roundabout here the roundabout right in front of the Emirates right in front of us so we're just I thought we'd best knock the uh, the video on now because then in the future everybody knows <laughs> that was actually us so when you look at the Emirates oh, hopefully they'll goodness. use that though they hopefully they won't blow our faces out well, no, they might do. Yeah, I, think they they do. I think they, they do. Will. I think they do. I think they do. They only. They, they, look at these shoes, man. Look, I've got my standard Converse high tops on, and my man's turned. What are they? They're Babesters. Babesters? They're, they're Adidas Babesters. They came out on Saturday. He's a true collector, isn't he? He's a true collector. Where's the hobby going? Um, that's a big question. <laughs> <laughs> like, are we still gonna. Do you expect that, like, in the close season this summer, we'll see a proper launch? Have you got Euros? Right. So, so we won't. I think I think we will, we will, but after the Euros, 
But then, if you look at next year, we've got World Cup in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, it's like one of the greatest times of the hobby. And then we've got the 2026 in America. Like, it's probably have two years to build up to that. Yeah. I was I was watching uh, an old episode back with Austin of Soft Cars yeah. Chill on the train on the way down here. And uh, we were talking about this. I put this question to him. And he was talking about the World Cup. Yeah. Um, and uh, that seems to be that what everybody says. The, the World Cup acts. in the United States is where... Yeah. But then and you don't know what will come after that. So and also we, you don't know because soccer could, uh, football, soccer. I don't, I don't know what to call it here. Uh, just call uh, it. We'll call it football as we're two yeah, Brits. And, and we're outside it. the area. Yeah, and we're outside yeah, we'll the area. We'll get some respect. Yeah, yeah. We'll um, put some respect on. Well, I mean, if football really catches on in the US, then oh. it might even grow bigger after World Cup. But I feel like that's something that we've been saying now for so long. No, but the World Cup is that is that step. I think. Is it? And even the twenty, even US qualifying for twenty twenty two might might ignite it. Yeah, because I just feel like I've heard this for my entire life. Like I've got a couple of years on yeah. you, and 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 for the entirety but of my life, people have said it has grown. It has grown in the. If you look at it in the past ten years, it has grown. Otherwise, we wouldn't have. You got there. Okay. Right, these, are, these aren't Futera cars, but I'll let him show these off because he's proud of them. I'm, I'm not, the I mean, they're low grades, but they're Arsenal related, so I thought I'd bring them along. Okay, so let's so, look at this one. Who's that, Burkamp? That's a Burkamp PSA 7. It's not the highest grade. It was, it's not the highest graded as of last week. So, oh, so really? Someone in our group submission got an A. Um, and this is my low graded Thierry Henry Ricky. That's four. a really, really nice it's car, nice, though. It's so on. So I, that's I feel Panini. like it's better than a 4. If you look Panini. at it, it's just better than a 4 so much better than a four yeah and then just like psa is better than bg uh, like just like the older uh, the old arsenal is better than the new arsenal psa is better than bgs and that's why i have Aubameyang in a b-tech bgs slab is that a Aubameyang? <laughs> yeah wow but it's a it's a nine which is all right which is quite decent nice so, yeah. nice so we've, we've we've been having we've got some we've got some of these which we'll open in a second. I think we might like we'll mix it up, shall we? We'll move around. But we yeah. were just talking about like the potential for as a manufacturer as well. Yeah, for sure. Because there's, there's, can't there's really loads on of Google Maps. I know. That's so fucking. Cool. You're easily Sorry. pleased, so but funny. it is no, but it is cool because now, so, I, I, mate, as an Arsenal fan, yeah. Google Maps outside, outside the Emirates. Outside the Emirates. Like, the... And how many people are gonna go and look at like the where Emirates, the Emirates exactly. is? Exactly. We're famous. We are famous. That was so funny. We are famous. What are the chances? Slim. Very slim. All right, lads. That's good. That was upside down. Oh, all right, lads. There you go. All right, lads and ladies. Obviously, this is a yeah, of course. show for all. It's going to start. Oh, it's got a little. Oh, we got the red. This is and can thing. you believe this? I'm an Evertonian walking around. <laughs> on, the it's, it's raining, but I'm an Evertonian walking around the Emirates, and behind me there's a guy in an Everton shirt. Jogging, watch, he's gonna come over my shoulder here. He's got his Everton shirt on, wrapping up the blues at the Emirates. I like That's it. Nice. This is uh, this is top class production. Go, we'll go to pub after this. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna. Have to. That's where Wait, we're gonna open the right. next one. Okay, yeah. Mind you, all pubs are closed. We're gonna have to sit outside. Mate, there's a. Do you see that little one on the corner with like the little underclass? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll go there then. We'll go there. This is a special in Boston. That'd be nice. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. So it's a regular. It's a regular. These are actually not quite nice cards. Can't lie. Okay. These are actually a lot better than so I expected. So that's Tony Adams. Yeah. These are the way. I can't. I can't lie. They're quite. Don't you together. have any of these, mate? Don't you no, have I some fan selection stuff? I don't have. You? I have. I have the United fan selection stuff. It's got better players. <laughs> <laughs> he says the Arsenal fan. Okay. So we got. Okay, so we got uh, how do you want to do, sure do this? this? How do you want to do this? <laughs> there you go. This is, this is, this is learning so experience. <laughs> learning experience. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, we've dropped! What have we dropped? We dropped. Oh no, it's okay. We dropped a scoreline card Arsenal 5 versus Stoke City 2. Oh! oh those were the days the, that we were the... beating Stoke. We haven't beaten Stoke in a while. <laughs> the last two Stoke aways I went. Oh, we've got a special in Boston Tony Nice. That's, that's like the nice. best card I think. That's lovely. Can I have a look at that? Yeah. Thanks, mate. Look at that one. I might keep that for my personal collection. No, I don't know what we're going to do with these cards yet. Maybe it's going to be kind of a good one. It's a lot of present. Oh, it's Bergkamp. Look at this. There's Bergkamp. Oh, well, don't let it blow off in the wind. Nah, these are, these are a bit heavier than the Tarot fans. Actually, of course. Uh, oh, it's going to be like... Jesus. That's Bergkamp. Right in front of the Bergkamp. Bergkamp in front of Bergkamp. I like it. I know. I know. I don't know what it's going to look like. Right, so let's talk quickly um, about uh, well yeah let's talk about, let's talk about, let's 
not talk about Futera okay. for a second. Let's talk more about like the hobby in general. Um, how how much impact do you think people like Gary V R and these other big names that are talking about? I feel okay. So, well, Gary, how do you feel about these guys? I used to feel absolutely like know about them. I don't want to swear obviously because we're being careful. Uh, I used to feel like know about. I think they're bad about them. That's the word. Okay. Um, but, um, I don't know. Now I have a big collection, and they're just continuing with the prices. So, so are <laughs> they? What, are you contributing the fact that these guys no. are talking about this a lot? To... No. So I think they've just been like speeding up the inevitable. Okay. Okay. Like, I feel. I feel like soccer. If you look at like like old NBA cards, they've always been going, like the old Prism, Topps Chrome cards. They've always been going for a lot of money, and soccer, football is one of the biggest global sports. Well, it's the biggest global sport. Exactly. So exactly. It, it kind of makes it, so it's kind of showing like the market's adjusted to what's real. Right. And, the, and if you look at the markets in Asia and America, they're just continuing to grow, especially for soccer, football, football, sorry, and uh, and basketball. In order though for for soccer cards to be worth like what some of the other cards have been worth historically, there needs to be that cultural change that doesn't that like people need to embrace soccer cards slash football cards in the same way that they do NFL cards, basketball cards, baseball cards. Can that be done and is that I happening feel like, now? I feel like it's happening now. If you look at like the sales of golden auctions and you know, PWC, you're seeing Ronaldo Mega Cracks PSA ten rookies going for over two hundred grand. Which and Pele rookies in PSA three is probably gonna get to uh, getting to like a hundred grand in the in the Alifa Belaga uh, nineteen fifty eight. And you see the eight point five recently sell I think for around a quarter of a million dollars, it might have been more right. in the eight point five at Heritage recently. So I feel like if it's not there it's it's not quite there. Yeah. But it's really, it's get, especially the premium cards, it's definitely getting there. Right, right. The premium, I think it's going to be a premium market. Do you? Like, the, the, which is obviously important for Terra to keep in mind when they're designing their products. Because you, a lot of a lot of stuff will be worth, if you look at some older Butera products or some older Topps paper products or some older Panini non-prism and non-premium products, they have they have very little value. Like Don Ross Panini, which is there, which is probably one of the only non-premium soccer sets Panini uh, Panini did. did. It's Don Ross Panini 2015. It's none of the cards are really worth anything except for the Messi auto, <laughs> right. which is super super short for him. Yeah. All right, so we're just walking around now. We've just clocked Smith Row behind us. Uh, Jamie, you a bit controversial with regards to Smith Row. I mean, he's probably one of our best young players at the moment, but at the end of the day, we, aren't, we aren't a great club, like, <laughs> I understand, so it just makes me wonder if he might be a tad overrated, being that he's, he's outshining with our players, our young players on the pitch, but are other young players even that good? Right, okay, so if you put if you plopped him into say a side from yesterday. If you no, if you put him against Foden, you have no chance. Yeah. And I think they're pretty similar in age. Right, right, okay, that's interesting because obviously we did that, that rookies card for him. Um, and everyone was really excited about like, that. Your Foden was probably your most popular card, wasn't it? Your... Yeah, well, yeah, Foden. That was, was that was almost a true rookie, wasn't it? When we did the photo. Um, that, oh, when you did it in the original City set as well. Yeah, yeah. Mate, those City autographs are class. Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. Thank that's you. Actually, that's actually your best product of, of the last few years. Oh, ah, thanks, Jamie. Thanks. I quite like that. Right, okay, so we've just finished our uh, our, our, our lunch. We had Very a nice good. jerk chicken from a place over there that was yeah, lovely. Was we had to get out the rain, didn't we, in the wind. Yeah. So, um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to finish off um, opening what, what I came down here to do. These... The rest of these uh, fan selection through Terra Packs. I think they're 97.98. 97.98. So let's see who we've got then, Jamie. Yeah. These cards so we opened the first one up, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Up there. Up in the wind. Um, we, the pulled, uh, we pulled an Adam, wait. Tony Adams. Yeah. Embossed card, was it? Is that, is that, let's have a look. Here we go. Here we go. So this was the pull of the first pack. Tony Adams, big tone. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Oh, it's a nice sight now. Sure. We, we, we timed that right, actually, yeah. didn't we? Oh, no, there no, we go. It's back in. <laughs> Typical <laughs> British weather. Oh, we've got nice Patrick Vieira. 
Oh, Joe's Gramonte on the back. Who? Joe's Gramonte. Wait, what, the, what was what's this card? Who am I card? It's a who am I? <laughs> it's a who am I, Joe's Gramonte, I think. Okay. I've never seen that's quite that's quite interesting. <laughs> that's, I've never wait, seen that wait, on a I'll tell you what, I'll hold them yeah. so we don't blow away and lose them. Um, um, oh, ha, ha, that's a hell of a fixture. 3 1 to the Arsenal against Tottenham. 97 98, you don't see that much anymore, sadly. <laughs> uh, bit of a shame. Um, okay. At your place as well, I bet the uh, Arsenal fans were chuffed that day. Yeah. Got a Stephen Hughes, who I have no idea who he is. Stephen Hughes actually went on to play for Everton. He spent a bit of time at Everton. Fair. He was at Villa first, I think. And yeah. Then Arsenal, then it must have been Everton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are Stephen Hughes. Oh, this is a cool card. I think it's a logo. Stadium logo. Interesting. And then we got oh we got the special emboss card. We got so both of our packs had the special emboss card. There's only one ever every two packs. So. Who's that Ray Parler? How much? Uh, I'm just looking at this this card here of um, Highbury. How much did you miss Highbury? Do you, do you remember much about Highbury or not? In terms of the stadium, this stadium is a lot nicer. Yeah. But in terms of, I was obviously very young, but I remember the atmosphere being a lot better. I remember, I just remember it being more of a football club than a business, which is obviously nicer. I think, don't you think that that's like symptomatic of just football in general now? It's yeah, one hundred percent. The whole of the Premier League is it's, it's turning into a business. And like I think we discussed earlier, but Everton is one. You're lucky to be one of those clubs which hasn't quite got there yet, but is is going. It's to on be. the way. It's on the way. Yeah. You have Usmanov who uh, was going to buy Arsenal, yes, and then right. obviously Conklin bought Arsenal. Yeah. And I think we know who we would have preferred. But again, who's uh, that? It's Patrick Vieira. Very nice. One of our greatest players, obviously. Okay. Okay. What's the next? So we've had packs? Vieira, Adams, and a Ray Palmer. You have pretty good cards. stars in these packs. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. Look at that old style. I mean, I like, I like the design. I used to really like the old Arsenal badge. Yeah, I have on the JVC shirts. Yeah. I have a couple of the JVC shirts. I nice. think that's another thing as well. I mean, the Arsenal badge is behind us there, and it's very modern in the sense. It's very simple. I feel like they've lot, a lot of badges have lost their detail yeah. now. Yeah, start with another, another Ray Parler. Great, I'm just intrigued so. by that one there. Okay, let's see what this one is. This so, is a, just a, it's just a plain fan selection card with an Arsenal badge on the back. So I literally think this is just a fan selection card. Is it? No, like, because it says underneath, it says nine stadium pick. Oh, Nine an, card stadium picture. A, okay, so oh, so it must be a puzzle. Right. So I think you put the nine of the cards together and it makes a puzzle for the stadium. Okay. But that's that's not the best. That's not the best picture for a. It's a strange one. Puzzle, it, must, it's, it's it's a must, strange it must. It must together. Well. I mean, whoever was making the decisions at Futera back in the day, I'm not. We do have another embossed card after. Okay. Uh, not the player we want, but. Who's We've that? Got, uh, this one is a 2-1 Arsenal Newcastle. I feel like you get a scoreline in every pack. Right, okay. Must be the way. And you must get a stadium, maybe a stadium in every, or a stadium piece in every pack or something. Because we've been getting some of those. But we do, we have got, oh, and you must get a logo card in every pack as well. Um, <laughs> okay, so we have another embossed card. It's, it's Stephen Hughes. Oh, is it Stephen Hughes? Right, Stephen okay. Hughes. Stephen Hughes Hot Packs. <laughs> And then we do have a, a beautiful stadium car. <laughs> As Sarah, see, this the, is so the quality, 90s. the quality control in the 90s was... It wasn't up was to the best. standard of the day. Yeah, especially considering Futera's current quality control is actually quite good. Like when you look at the types of cars being released. Yeah. Like the design of them is actually very nice. Yeah. And then we have a beautiful one here. Go on. It's a scoreline card. Arsenal 3, Everton 1. Oh, <laughs> no! Well, that's a stat that hasn't changed. No, that, that I mean, hasn't changed. Do you not Apart get a result? From this I feel like this season result, we've done yeah. the double over. Yeah, you've got. Yeah, exactly. Uh, a couple of weeks back here. The club's changed. The, not, 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 yeah. Not the, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we got, what have we got? One more. Two more. We've got, we've got two more. Okay. okay, so there you go. We'll put this one away, I think. I don't, you can keep this one, Jamie. What is Arsenal 3. Card? Everton one, yeah, you can keep the stadium cards, but I'm having Vieira. I'm having Vieira. I'm having Be my guess. Who, who else did we get? What was it? Oh, uh, Adams, I'm having Tony what about Adams. Parler? Do you know what the Parler in Bust? Yeah, Ray That's Parler's one of the special right. cards. Oh, right, right. Parler's yeah, right. I'll take Ray Parler. Relevant as well. Like, he's... Okay, so we do have another in Bust card as well, I think. 
Okay. Uh, so we have another stadium car, which is actually a lot That's nicer. That's a nice it's one. It's better than the stadium roof. It's better than the stadium roof. <laughs> well, that's not, is that, that's Mars Keown. I talking about him earlier. Martin Keown. A score, oh, it's a scoreline, Mars Keown. It's real. Arsenal versus Chelsea. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's the patch. The patch. <laughs> I got it, I got be it. Careful, be careful. Yeah, we do not want to be littering. Especially yeah. not for terror rappers. Absolutely not, because they'll know who the culprits are. Uh, three all, Arsenal versus Chelsea. Okay, yeah, Arsenal one. versus Chelsea, oh, three all. Oh, rappers got, rappers got flying again. Oh, quick, go get it, Jay, we go get have, it, go wait, get it. I'll, I'll finish. Right, J Jay's going to, uh, he's got it, he's got it, he's picked it up. Don't worry. So, Viet, we've had that Vieira card already, haven't we? I feel we? like that might be an insert, it might be a trick. Oh, we have another bus card. Wait, have we had the exact same repo? Yeah. Are these in the same box? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call that. This Don't is, call we, look, we've learned, we've learned a lot since the 90s. Sorry, mate, go on. That's, uh, that's, we've had that stadium card as we well. Have, yeah. No, no comment. Yeah. No comment there. And I think we've also had the Steven Hughes, the team guard. <laughs> Yeah, I'd, li I'd like to, I'd like to right. like, confirm that Futera does not have repeats in their boxes in the modern day. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, head over to the website and check out the Arsenal cars that we do at the moment. Let's just say things have changed a little bit. We've got a Lee Dixon. Yeah, you I can think, keep that. I think we've got two Lee Dixons in the same pack. Okay. It's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Oh, we've got a stadium card. Stadium card. Let's just show you this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. you're the expert at doing this type of stuff. No, I'm, I'm, I'm usually not doing it like like this, I usually have the camera set up in front of me. Oh, okay, cool. So it's showing the cards the camera, I usually have my hands on the screen. Right, right, right. Not my face. But That's a nice one, isn't it? I can imagine that being on your mantelpiece. Well, if I go here, we have a David Platt. And if I go here, we have a David Platt. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine, because at least they're different. Can I just say that this isn't Arsenal related, but this Sheffield Wednesday jersey, that whoever that is, that, is that like Carlton Palmer? So I don't know who that is. Anyway, um, that is a proper 90s jersey, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we have the David Platt and Boss Cards. Nice. And the final one. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, we got, oh, got, we got no, two. We got two. We got two, uh, okay. Okay, so we have the season's best. Uh, this is more like an Arsenal scoreline in Parrot. Wimbledon 2, Arsenal 2. <laughs> but actually, Wimbledon were a good team back then. They were, they were. Oh, that, that is guy. like a score to Outside. Crazy guy. Crazy guy. And then. That's a great card. Look at Ian Wright's face that is, on that's there. That's pretty awesome. He's loving it. I like that. That's cool. And then we have an awesome strikes, Lee Dixon. Let's have a look. Lee Dixon, is that what gold is that? Oh, this is his diving header against Newcastle. Oh, that's nice. I think this is one of his goals of the season. No, oh, was it? Well, that, you don't see many diving headers anymore. No, that's a. You didn't even see many by Lee Dixon back in the day. No, that's true. So, um, in terms of your own like card that you like to collect, Jamie, yeah. what, what, it, what's your, what do you have a preference for as a collector? So, I, I always love like the rookie stickers in high grades and the rookie cards. But if I look at what I want to collect now, it's going to be first Thomas Crow, first Prism kind of stuff. And when you guys release a set, it might be first Futera. Who knows if you release a master set, then I might. On that because if you look at NBA, it's one of the first sets from all these major brands that have done extremely well, like Tops Chrome from the early thousands, um, uh, Panini Prism from like the early like 2011 or 12, I can't remember what it is in basketball. It's just like, all these modern sets have exploded because they're just the first of its kind, and not many of not many people kept them in like the best state and everything. So, mm. rookie stickers. That type of thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you've shown us some of them already today, yeah. so that's great. Um, but I've enjoyed this. This yeah, has been too. good. We've been hanging around at the uh, at the Emirates. Yeah, it's been good. Which is a lovely stadium. It's a shame that we can't actually go in at the yeah. moment and watch a game of football. That would be even better. Yeah. Still, though. Hopefully, by summer, we have the Euros. It's been lots of fun. Yeah, lots of fun. We'll do it again. Yeah, sure. Right, so I've just got back in the car then. Um, it's uh, It's been a long day down in London, just back at the station now. Going to head home. Thank you for watching uh, this uh, this different edition of Soccer Cards and Chill. Let us know in the comments section um, if you want this type of format to continue. I really enjoyed doing it. Thanks to Jamie for joining us today. And remember to head over to the website and check out uh, what cards we have available over on www.futera.com. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. All the best.